So um, tell me a little bit about the interaction between Discovery Shows and um, the sh social space online. How is that, how are you kind of propagating audience engagement via that channel? Yeah, we're, look, we're trying to have uh, a much deeper and utilize the digital platforms, whether that be the online world and the video examples, the social conversation on Facebook, Twitter, etc., uh, to really drive that audience engagement and have a much deeper relationship for fans of the shows on all those platforms. And so a couple examples we've had great success with. So we have a great, uh, the number one show for men uh, in its last season, uh, Gold Rush on Discovery, aired. And as part of that, we did an after show, which was a video experience with the executive producer talking about, with the cast, about uh, what went on during the show as well, had social components to it with uh, uh, an ability to, to tweet about the show and, and uh, have the conversation on Facebook. and. Then we took essentially the compilation of those after shows and edited them into a, a, an hour long uh, piece that we then took back from the digital space and brought back to television. And the show was uh, the number one show on Friday Night for Men uh, in the US. Uh, and so it was a great example of nurturing that audience with a, a multi-platform experience uh, that included you know, internet and social. Uh, and not only doing it there, but ultimately being able to bring it back to the television spike and have you know the number one show uh, for men that night. Uh, another example, Shark Week is a phenomenon. Uh, it's a huge phenomenon, one of our marquee events uh, every summer. Um, and last year we had a huge social uh, component to that, uh, and it was sort of the number one trending topic on uh, in the social uh, environment. We're going to do that again as we go for uh, our 25th anniversary of Shark Week this summer. Uh, and so we're really excited about that. And that was from television to online. In terms of revision three, do you see it going the other way? You know, I think it's really interesting. So we have, the short answer is absolutely, in the cases where it makes sense. Now it may not make sense for everybody, and it may not make sense for every show, but there may be talent in shows that make a lot of sense. One great example of that is we have uh, a company that we, had, we have called HowStuffWorks.com which uh, was primarily a reference site that has also developed a variety of personalities around the stuff topic. We've taken one franchise there, uh, Josh and Chuck, two personalities that host our Stuff You Should Know uh, podcast originally, and we started realizing that they were beginning to develop a huge following with millions of downloads a month uh, for their podcast. We started to develop video podcasts for them. We did a pop-up Sirius XM radio show with them where the line was around the block of their fans to come participate in the show. And we sort of said, hey, we have something here. And so we, we then took them and, and uh, in the conversation with some of our television franchises here, the Science Channel became very interested in developing a show with them. And so we're actually in development for a show uh, later this year with the Science Channel where Josh and Chuck will be parts of that uh, show. And so we're really excited. And that's a great example of taking our digital native talent and bring them back to television. So we've done it now, with, we're doing it with How Stuff Works. We'll certainly be looking to do it uh, increasingly with Revision 3 uh, with our digital talent there as well.